Hey, namaste. This is Sacred Owl with another chapter of Real Talk by Sacred Owl. Today I want to share with you the term archetype, which is spelled A-R-C-H-E-T-Y-P-E, -E, archetype. And the original word and pattern is called an original pattern or model from which all things in the same kind are copied or in which they are based, a model or first form prototype. <clears throat> The second one, which is one I'm going to talk about, is in Junian psychology, the collective inherited unconscious idea, pattern of thought, images, etc., universally present in an individual's psyche. And the reason I'm speaking about archetypes is because I'm beginning a series of teachings which was called Dark Energies or Dark Persons, dark within the darkness within you. And a lot of things to understand the aspects of darkness, one has to understand the archetypes and how they're developed within yourself. And now, mind you, the archetypes in a simpler form, in the easiest, simplistic way to describe them, would be the child in you, the mother in you, the father in you, the the judgment in you, the 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 hierophant, the art, you know, the uh, the emperor, which is tarot tarot card archetypes. These are different personality traits that lead or have a part inside of you that dictate some of your personalities and some of your moods. A lot of people in today's society, in today's ideology, they deal a lot with, with the, the ego archetype uh, or the archetype that's based on feeling safe because of all the trauma and all the things that people have been through in their life. Archetypes are developed through those experiences and then they become what holds us. So for example, if you had a situation at the age of 16, you were in high school and you were a sophomore in high school and you had a girlfriend or you had a boyfriend and they broke up with you or they cheated on you or they humiliated you, well you get that 16 year old archetype, that 16 year old becomes an archetype and it freezes you in that energy of, 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 of intimacy in that part of your life. So when you're 40 or 45 and if it's left unresolved, then that 16 year old is still making decisions for you and when it comes to matters of the heart and love at the age of 40, 50, 60, depending on where you're at, 30, 35, it, it, it can still make those decisions for you because it's frozen in that specific pain or trauma. And mind you, when you have a 16 year old making decisions for you at the age of 30 or 35, then it's not the wisest thing to do. That's why it's always good to make peace and to be in tune with those parts of yourself that have been hurt and those parts of yourself that have been traumatized or those parts of themselves that have had experiences that are, that are left unresolved or unsolved. So in, the, in dealing with that, in archetypal work, we start to travel back into our memories or into our, di our ideas. And it could be traveling back, could be through journaling, meditation, just a, a memory, a song that pops up and reminds you of a time in, in your in at that age or whatever age you were at that 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 had that situation and it went. And so those archetypes give you the opportunity to be to say that they're a part of you, but also gives you the opportunity to heal from that particular aspect of your life. And that ha aspect could be very, very hurtful, very, very dangerous, or very, very harmful to, to your psyche and to your, to your emotions. It even can cause sickness and disease. It all depends on how emotional and how traumatic it may have been in your life. And mind you, we have good archetypes too now. Let's not just talk about the negative ones. And we have those good memories, you know, growing up and, and your dad tucked you in bed or your mom, uh, you know, bought, bought you something and it made you feel good and those are great archetypal memories and those are the things that also give us balance from the dark dark negative part to the light positive part and then the dark part gives balance to the light part and so in dealing with these archetypal energies it allows us the opportunity to see what we need to resolve in our life and what we need to face and when we do that, that's where the, tar the tarot system steps in. And as you pull those cards, the frequency that you're at, you're pulling the archetype of what's leading your particular life at that time or that particular energy at that time in that space and time in your life so that you understand this is what you're specifically going through. It's, it's not complicated, 
but it, it's something that requires for you to pay a lot of attention to. If you're not paying attention to your own emotions and to your own feelings and to those archetypes, then they, they go like, uh, they get a little out of control. They just do their own thing within you, and then now you have these, these conflicts that it attracts to you that you have to deal with. Archetypal work is very deep. This video is just an introduction to it. It's also an introduction to shadow work and dark work that you're going to be having to face in your life because those are the things that are, that are hidden within our psyche that can come out and then once they're dealt with, they can make life a lot easier and a lot more formidable to deal with. I hope this video helped you out today. Again, I'm just reminding you in the future now that I'm introducing this, I'm gonna start being doing I'm gonna start doing live feeds where I'm actually gonna pull cards and explain what the card means and answer your questions and, and do that. And those those times I'll have to start setting up. I don't know which is the best times. If you could write me in and let me know what good times are daytime, afternoon, evenings, then I'll be more than happy to try to accommodate as many people as possible. I hope this helped you. I love you. Sacred Isle. Namaste.